Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. Today we are back here in the Mesa Village. Uh, it is basically this is the this is Monday, so this is the day that our previous video uh, is releasing. Uh, was doing just a little bit of work in terms of actually making this connected with the path by slabs, and then making this actually have the path go to the door. Um, last episode, we created all of this uh, vegetation and this side of the town, and I really like how it's turned out. Haven't seen how you guys like it, but I'm sure that you are uh, enjoying it. The uh, This is the salt storage area we made as well. Very cool. It's for the native people to be able to store the salt easily. Uh, and today, we're going to be working on the salt flats. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I've got a couple ideas as to how to handle this. It's not going to be too much in the ways of a difficult build, um, but it is going to be just a bit time consuming and a little tedious, I think. Um, but if it doesn't take as long as I'm thinking, then we're going to also tackle a bit of the docks, getting them laid out so we can build a boat there. I don't want to build it today or I probably will put a put it in like an entire episode um but yeah so we're gonna have we're gonna try and do the docks if this doesn't take too long the salt flats are only gonna be uh out to like right here and then they're gonna just be in this little area here so it's gonna be just this and it's not too in depth of actually like they're not it's not a hard build it's just might be tedious um, and we're going to be using a lot of snow and some of you may be wondering, well, where in the world are you going to get snow? You have never been to a snowy biome and I already have something set up that I've been using for snow that I was going to cover last episode, but then just decided not to decide to cover it in this episode. And I think it's going to be good. So firstly, we need to get a not silk touch, uh, pick because, or not pick, uh, shovel, because I want to be able to, let's see, efficiency for fortune, very good. Um, I want to be able to get snowballs so we can easily make snow blocks. Now, I need to remember how to get there. I think I have to go this way. I believe there are some icebergs over this way. And there should be, yeah, right there. Boom, you can see it. Decided to build a little bit of an iceberg snow farm, and I, I like it. This is a very simple thing, but you just come here and land, and uh, you're built right into the iceberg right here, and it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, and then you just come in here, come on down. There's a little snowman right here. I forget what his name is. I think he's, his name is Twin Blades. Uh, <laughs> cause I only had, uh, the twin blades, uh, thing from before the name tag before and down here, he's sitting on a block that has a mine cart, uh, hopper mine cart underneath. And wow, this is dark, but I don't think anything will spawn cause this is all slabs. Um, but as you can see, I already have some snow layers and it's very efficient. If you've ever needed snow, it's very efficient to do this because you can take a silk touch. If you have a silk touch pick, you get snow layers. And so if you do this, you get snow layers. And you have to make sure that you're aimed at the uh, the the cobblestone that's underneath him right there. And I mean, everything, he just, everything gets picked up really, really fast. You don't wanna hit him because he is very fragile, um, but you'll get an absolute butt ton of snow layers this way and then I mean, honestly, we probably have enough as is now. So I'm going to switch to our other shovel so that we get snowballs. And then the snowballs are going to be really nice because they'll be helpful in making it so that we can make snow blocks very easily. It's You can do snow layers to get blocks, but it's annoying. You have to place them, and I don't think it's as... Uh, as good so i'm gonna do this for just a little bit to get a few more snow blocks and then uh, we'll we'll get building today so hope you're looking forward to it all right so we're here and ready to go i got some snow layers and some snow blocks and i wanted to do the first one with you to kind of get an idea of what we're wanting to do 
So firstly, let's start with, well, let's see here. I think, uh, okay, so one random thing is I think I'm going to start doing uh, the the laying out in, in concrete powder because it takes one step out of the process. I mean, I think, I th like, the more I thought about it, like, I, I, I watched uh, Fwip's not latest video, but one of his videos, and he uses concrete powder, and I had always thought I, I liked concrete more, but I like the look of it more, but I think concrete powder is just less effort. You don't have to actually turn it into concrete, so it's just better. So I think we're going to do that, um, and I think let's start with... This one's already filled with water, so this will be easier, I think. So we'll go ahead, this one's actually the perfect size and shape and everything. So what I want to do is, if you've never seen a salt flat, and I've never seen one in real life, I've only looked at some images, and they could even be not really like actually natural images, um, they're pretty shallow, and they're not supposed, they're not supposed to be like deep puddles of water, they're supposed, deep pools of water, they're supposed to be more like puddles of water because there's supposed to be more along the lines of like they get filled up but they can evaporate really quickly um, in the hot sun and that way they are able to evaporate the water away and leave the salt behind and that's kind of how they work. So I'm going to fill the bottoms of all of these little areas with diorite because it can be like snow can't be underwater. So this is kind of our way of making it look white and, and, and you know, sn uh, not snowy, but white and white and salty uh, underneath. And we'll throw in some concrete. I think concrete will look good. Uh, we don't want to do it on the edges, though, because I'm going to want to make the uh, edges pretty much all uh, slabs. And so I think let's do just some occasional slabs like this. We're going to make a mixture of some di regular old diorite and then some smooth diorite. Now I want to use primarily, uh, let's see, primarily I want to use uh, regular diorite. I think it, it'll, it gets the, a better feel for granular, like a granular feeling. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's start throwing in some like that's okay. I think this is good. Uh, I do like our normal diorite, uh, our polished diorite. I do like what it looks like. Uh, so let's maybe go like this, and then let's add some diorite stairs. Just breaks things up, makes things a little bit more interesting. Add a stair there. We will have to waterlog some of this stuff. And then actually, let's add this guy right there. So then you get a little bit of an interest there. And I think that is good. Um, maybe throwing in like a little salt column or something like that that's kind of formed. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't care. Um, and then let's add maybe another little bit right there. And then let's make this into this guy and then this in actually let's reverse that that will go there and this guy will go right here uh right uh there all right cool so now there is a little bit of a salt pile and this is so much better now that we have the various different white stair and slab blocks before you'd have to make it all out of like sand and snow and it would have to be kind of ink carpet um, and that's actually one block I didn't get. I need to get some carpet blocks because they are, they are actually thinner than one layer of snow. So they're a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's see. Do we have sand in here? Okay. We have 20, 20 whole sand. Nice. All right. That is something I thought we had, but we apparently don't. I know where a lot of sand is over in that jungle village. Uh, some of you actually may not have seen that. So if I go over there, I may... Uh, bring you along for the ride because that is a very interesting place. I really do like it. Um, we haven't started in on it yet. Uh, sure, bone block, why not? Get all the white blocks. Um, we haven't done anything with it because I kind of made it and then got a little bit uninspired. Um, I think I am going to put some sand down here. Uh, eventually, I may change all of this out for well no i think it may actually make sense for it to be 
pretty much a, a stone based material so that it doesn't actually like wash away. Um, but I'm putting this here and we're gonna intermix some of the, the red sand as well because I think it makes sense for there to be uh, some white sand because it's been almost red, stand, red sand that's been stained by the salt. That's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking with this. So I think putting some sand next to the white sand is actually a good thing because it sells it a little bit more, I think. And so now let's see, let's start throwing in some, okay, see, let me, let me test this. Oh, you can. You can't put salt layers, but you can put salt blah, salt, uh, not salt. I'm so convinced this is salt now. You can actually, wait, is this concrete? No, this is snow. Jeez, that is stupid white. Wow. Do I have, is it because the brightness is so, so bright? Uh, where's brightness? There it is. No. Yeah, no, kind of. You can see the blue now. Interesting. So I, usually I don't play on that. I usually I play on 70. Because then you have a little bit of shadow, but not anything too crazy. So I guess we can actually go ahead and and do this and actually put some 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 actual snow under all this water. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, that's actually you learn something every day. So I'm gonna do that because that's actually really helpful. That, that'll help sell it a lot better than just having uh, n not actual what we're gonna say is salt. Uh, so let me go ahead and sleep and then we'll start placing the salt layers and things. All right, so what I'm thinking is most of this, I actually don't want to be like too crazy salty. Um, I want it to, I want to sell it that it's salty, but the thing is there's gonna be these, I may, I'm making sure that the walkways in between each little pond area is around two blocks, um, except for like, areas like this, but it's okay to get a little thinner. Um, but the, the idea is you want to be able to walk around and sell the salt idea, but all the salt should pool here. Um, and so some of these areas will be a little bit more salty um, than others, but I don't want to like get, I don't want to get rid of all the red texture because I like the idea of seeing all the red around here. So let's do something like this, that there, that and like that, and then that'll be good. Uh, actually, let's get rid of this. And yeah, that'll be good. So I, I want to sell the salt idea, but I don't want it to be like a super, super dominant feel. Can you do this? No, okay. I thought you might be able to actually put uh, some, some layers on the walls. Uh, let's go ahead, let's make a big, big pile kind of where, well, we need to figure out where they are. One thing we'll have to do is figure out where their main route is. Cause this, I think this is, this is pretty cool. I like this sort of, I think this sells it pretty well. This definitely looks like a nice little salt flat hole thing. And I think that's good. We need to figure out how they're going to be getting to and fro from here. Um, I think what we'll do is just kind of make this, fill this hole in like that. And then maybe their main pathway is here and we'll have to maybe designate it by, maybe what we do to designate it is actually make it so it's like the terracotta has been stained as well. Because if we are dragging salt all around, there's gonna be a salt that's ground into the dirt a ton and then it'll be kind of turned to this whitish color and I think this is going to be a cool way to also sell this so if we do this it is still very terracotta -y, but it is kind of it's like it's been stained a bit so we could make kind of a a pathway or so that has this sort of unloading area if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense I'm gonna try and I'll, I'll try it. I'll figure it out but this is what it's gonna look like. Let's go, let's get on top of our little, little tower doohickey right here. Ooh, there we go. And, okay, can't see it. Right here. Yeah, that looks good. I, I really like it. Now the thing, the thing about salt, the, not salt layers, snow layers. The thing about snow layers is you can't have any light sources near them. Uh, they won't melt if there's like, I think they can't be at, uh, 
like light level 13 or something like that. They have to be below some uh, the, uh, a strong light level. Um, so that's why there's a few pieces of uh, salt or uh, snow that is that I had put here and this melted it because that's light level 15 or something like that. But as you can see, there's a layer, uh, two layers of snow right there. Actually, that's one layer. See, that's the difference between carpet and snow. That's one layer of snow and that's a carpet. Um, and so you just want to be careful with lighting. Uh, it can be a bit difficult to work with it. So this place is not going to be very, actually, it's honestly going to be pretty friendly in terms of spawns because there's going to be so much snow layering that i don't know if mobs spawn on snow layers i don't think so because they're not full layers um but this is the idea that we're going to be going for so i figured let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse i think it'll be good to cover that this in in like a time lapse because it's not too much work um it's just going to be kind of tedious as you can see so i'm going to have to kind of go through and dig all these holes out and fill them with water because um, most of them, this was the only one that was actually pre-filled with water. Um, but this is going to be a small one, I think. Very, very small. And then I might make a few. Like that one may be filled with salt, but it's it's like um, the... Maybe I'll, I'll make it so it's actually like further down in there that it takes a while to evaporate. So this one's not a very effective one. Um, and then we'll work on this, I think. And I don't, I don't really think this is going to take me too long. So... If this doesn't take me too long, we're going to work on the docks a little bit, get them ship shaped so that they can actually uh, have uh, ships uh, to be able to ship. I was trying to do something with ship shape there, but I don't know. So I'm going to work on this. Let's do a time lapse of it and get it going real quick. And then I'll be back and we'll just continue off there and see where we're at. So I'll see you in a bit. So salt flats are pretty much done. I still have a little bit of work to do, but take a look at that. That is an insane amount of snow. A lot of snow layers have been placed. I really like how it's turned out. So I did add a few things uh, not within the time lapse itself. And that's mainly because of just for time's sake and they weren't particularly interesting to be honest uh, it was just like some wheelbarrows and those big barrels which are very simple which i'll show you uh, in a second but this is what the salt flats look like you'll have to let me know if i went a bit crazy you'll definitely have to let me know uh, if i should like cut back on the amount of snow because <laughs> I definitely went a little crazy but this is this is what it is I now that we can waterlog all this stuff it's kind of it's I think very cool you can have slabs and stuff to make it so it's a bit shallow you can have walls to make it kind of look like salt columns have formed 
I think it's very, very cool. Now, the idea is that they are currently in the drying process. I did not have a ton of sand. Like, I only have 47 sand. I don't know where all my sand has gone. So I will be adding sand around all of these as well. Um, I just didn't have enough to do it all at once, so I didn't feel like like taking time to go and actually mine up more sand. Um, I will take care of that in a little bit. But yeah, this is a salt flats. It looks very, very cool, I think. I didn't get to doing the cliff area right there. That little cliff side is going to be terraformed a little bit. Just essentially all I'm going to do is what I did here and just use some sandstone, red sandstone to texture it up just a little bit, give it a little flair. But nothing too crazy i don't really i don't like this area is not going to be a place that we visit a ton i just wanted to have some lore uh in this area and so this is kind of a a haphazard build if you will but here are the barrels um the idea for these are that I, i'm imagining this is how they transport uh the shipment to the uh the steampunk city that's over there they have these three barrels that they fill up and they're very, very big, and you can they just kind of go up here, load them up. This one is actually open. I wanted one of these to be open so that you could actually kind of get an idea that these are, are like big kegs, and that is filled with salt to the brim, and I, I really like it. And this wandering trader really likes it. He keeps going up that staircase. Um, and so I think that's really fun. Uh, some different wheelbarrows, different designs and stuff, uh, trying just some fun different variations out just because I like to have a variety of wheelbarrows because, you know, I did landscaping and no wheel one wheelbarrow was the exact same. But this is very simple, um, just barrels, planks, and then they're sitting on scaffolding. And honestly, the scaffolding legs are a bit kind of dainty looking because these barrels definitely pro weigh way more than than those could handle but that's the best I could do I think so that's kind of what I went with and then just have various different barrels of salt around some an empty wheelbarrow right here a couple things right here and then another that same wheelbarrow design that was over there right here and yeah this is this is the salt flats and I think it's very cool now to wrap the episode up I think I wanted to do just some very very quick work laying out some dock area stuff and thinking about it because maybe next episode we'll tackle the actual boat building maybe i know i've been saying we're gonna do like the salt cave that is right down that way you actually can't see it i'm guessing yeah it's right down this road you go down that way and there's a cave and I think that may be the last thing um, so that that's like the final like once that's in this place is done and the lore is built up here and we can move on. So focusing on this. So I think I'm going to do a little laying out and then kind of bring it back in for some final talking. So give me a second to tackle this real quick and then, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. All right. So that's really all the planning I wanted to do do but the more i'm looking at this the more i'm thinking should there be two areas for boats hmm because we have this one and i wasn't honestly i really wasn't thinking much about there being like more than just one boat and i really feel like this is plenty big like this is gonna allow for a good a good sized cargo ship and remember, the cargo ship is not going to actually be at dock level. It's going to be up. There's probably going to be like onboarding ramps, I think. And so the the boat is actually going to probably be like three blocks away because we have to have like a staircase going up to it. So there is going to be a bit of an onboarding ramp. So we have to like adjust and say this is where the side of the boat begins. And then let's say, OK, so here and then let's go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make four, seven, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then may, I don't know, maybe it should be just, I don't know how big of a boat we wanna make it. Maybe to the center, maybe it's one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, and go right there. I mean, that's a big, that's a big boat for this area. If we, if we think about it, like, 
if it's f how how wide is that one so five five plus three 13 wide um 13 wide and we're gonna want to go that's gonna be like 50 50 long something like that I'm not sure what the ratios are to boats. I've never built a boat. So that's why I didn't really want to do a ton of planning here. I do want to, first off, I will do research into the boats, um, but there's a couple, there's a few details I want to put. I'm not going to detail out the docks today. I just want to get them planned. But what I'd like to do is do I have any, did I use all of them? Really? Wow. Okay. Um, let's do this and get that many of those and if you didn't know i have a in my data pack because i just think it's it's dumb how little you get for a trap door uh, i have this recipe enabled so you get for six wood you get 12 trap doors which i think isn't it still isn't very like i mean if you think about it, a trap door is very very tiny compared to a plank and so i don't really think you're using i like i feel like that recipe is perfectly fine i don't think they should cost as much as they do so that's why i have them have it enabled um yeah that's why uh, and it also makes materials last longer and it's not really it's not like overpowered i don't think and i mean it's minecraft so i it's hard for me to even use the term overpowered in minecraft because, I mean, we are also using chainmail armor. <laughs> so we're, I am trying to play in a, in a fair way. But what I wanted to do with these was simply add them to the tops. Do we like that look? Maybe not. Maybe what we do is, well, that's not gone forever because I like trap doors. Um, maybe what we do is we add maybe buttons what do buttons look like do buttons look good yeah sure why not let's do buttons but let's yeah let's have them facing the other way yeah that's nice um we'll have to add some sort of lighting system here i think right now i have a lantern right there we could add lanterns but i think i'll probably change maybe this one to a lamppost and then maybe this one to a lamppost or we'll do this one and that one so that they're actually alternating and then instead of that being a lamppost we could do like this one and this one and potentially that one so every other one i think it will be good but yeah i think that's gonna do it for the episode guys sorry they're not not a ton has been done the salt flats actually did take longer than i expected um, I think they're very cool, and while it's not like a super interesting build, it does add to the lore. It does add a lot. I did miss a little pool here. Um, I ran out of snow, and I didn't feel like going back to our little snow golem to be able to actually, like, get snow. <laughs> so I need to get more sand, as you see there. I need to get more sand to distribute around just to make it a little bit more natural. Maybe add one more pool right here flesh this out and then i think salt flats wise will be good um, i'm gonna try and do some detailing uh, as well to add some landscaping not much really just adding a couple cactuses maybe a few slabs here and there and then i think that'll be good um, and then next episode i think we are going to tackle this dock area and really get it situated um, so i hope you guys are looking forward to that and I hope you enjoyed the episode today. I had a great time. It was a fun build, and I really did enjoy it. So also, one random thing. I'm very happy that you guys really like the office building because that is a very strange building to build, and I really liked it, so I'm really glad that you liked it. So thanks for all the positive comments. It's always helpful uh, when you hear so many positive comments about a build. So Without further ado, I'll let you go. So if you like if if you like the video, then leave a like in real life. If you enjoyed the builds and stuff, feel free and you haven't yet joined this the channel, feel free to subscribe, join the little family we've got going here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, and remember, next week probably not going to have a video recorded cuz I haven't been able to work uh, on an extra video. So sorry about that. If I can get a time lapse out, I'll try. Probably not. So yeah, see you in two weeks or maybe see you midweek in two weeks sometime. I don't know. Bye.